In this video, we're going to be covering the Google AdWords policy basics. So while I recommend that you sign up for an AdWords MCC account and create as many accounts as possible, please read the entire policy to make sure that you don't quickly run into problems. Now I have linked the AdWords policy below so that you can check that out and be sure to read through the entire thing. So a quick note is that Google AdWords is very strict on affiliate marketers. You need to tread lightly. The reason for this is, is that 99% of affiliate marketers are promoting products that have no value to the end user. And this is the exact opposite of what we want to do as affiliates. We want to provide value to the end user. Not only that, but there's many other Google policies that are kind of conflicts of interest between affiliates and the vendors themselves as far as them competing against each other and multiple people promoting the same product. You start to get into a lot of common policies that um, affiliate marketers struggle with are the bridge page policy and the double serving policy. The bridge page policy is creating a bridge page. And while that works on Bing uh, and it can work on Google, it's very risky on Google because Google does not like bridge pages or websites that are only created to link to another page. So you're going to need to create a full website experience that looks like a really legitimate business in and of itself and provides value before the user is directed off to another page. The double serving policy is simply when multiple people are running the exact same product under similar or the same terms. And this is basically considered abuse of the Google ad network. So that's another challenge that you're going to need to get around. I would recommend that you try to warm up your account with Google friendly content before you're running affiliate content. And I would do this on the same domain as your affiliate content. So if your domain is dailydeals.com, before running your affiliate page, I would start running some Google friendly content on the same domain so that the domain is warmed up and ready to go. So let's take the time to talk a little bit about the AdWords policy basics. Now, obviously no violence or drugs, no pornography or adult content without permission from the AdWords team and no claims or testimonials that are unverified without proper disclaimers. So you can't have claims or testimonials without proper disclaimers or links that verify and back up those claims. I stay away from claims altogether and this is something that I do by replacing, uh, let's say you will lose 50 pounds this week, you can lose up to 50 pounds this week. Or I even like to get rid of any time indicators and say, you can lose a significant amount of weight. That way I really start to kind of back away from making any claims that can't be backed up. And I start to become a little bit more AdWords friendly. The same goes for testimonials. If there's any testimonials from users who are stating certain results, or even if they look like Facebook testimonials or Google reviews, they have to have disclaimers uh, attached to them saying that um, all results are going to vary and that these are not guarantees or, um, you know, like you're not going to have the same results as the people in these testimonials. As long as you have that, you should be fine. Um, the additional ones are basically pretty much the same as the Bing ads ones, except the uh, must have terms of service, privacy policy and disclaimers page. Those are three pages that Google always requires you to have, um, that Bing does not necessarily require you to have. But um, once again, the other two, no exit pop-ups and no autoplay videos or audio are AdWords basics as well. So if you run into policy problems, ClickFunnels once again can come to the rescue. You can create a landing page or a bridge page that's compliant to cross over to the affiliate content. So while Google does have a policy against this, you need to try to build out a full website that looks like a fully legitimate business in and of itself. This is where I would turn to something like WordPress. I would build out a WordPress site or blog with a lot of content on it that basically has maybe by like an age domain as well. So it looks like the website's been around for a while, uh, maybe even create like some fake Facebook uh, pages or Twitter pages to link to it so that it looks like a full on business in and of itself. I recommend review sites for this reason. I think review sites are a great way to create kind of a brand or a business within, uh, within itself and stay Google friendly because it looks like a site that is built for its own specific purpose instead 
of just linking to one specific page or helping somebody cross over to what they were looking for originally. At this point, please proceed to the next video to continue.